Well gone traders. Yeah the traders here again. Alright guys. Welcome to the weird world of Mullen. For all you guys um that has been with me for a while. Um you know Mullen has been a, a stock that you can't really make sense of apart from we all know what's going on with regards to you know um all the reverse split um hanging over our heads another reverse split possibly um the stock going down but look at this this morning um well not this morning but yesterday guys the stock came down another all-time low and then we popped right back up there was no news that came out no good news that came out that uh, would have caused this to happen but it's weird that when I told you guys three weeks ago that there's a huge open interest for today, um, I think it was 29,000 um, call interest, and I said, I'm not sure what will be happening, but there is a high open interest. It's weird that as um, for, for yesterday, we got that huge pop-up. So I'm going to um, look at the open interest um, going forward um, in the video to kind of give you guys a sense as to when next the stock is going to um, give you a little pop up. Remember back then, uh, I think it was April 21st, um, three weeks before then, I told you guys that there's a huge open interest of 107,000 shares. And on April 21st, that is when Lawrence was introduced. So I'm not saying there is any insider trading going on or anything like that, but someone knows something that we don't. So we'll be taking a look at that. All right, guys. So as you can see here, we went all the way down to 20 cents yesterday. Wow. So if you divide that 20 cents by the 1 to 25 reverse split, you know that we were, we went below that <laughs> way below that one cent uh, mark if we didn't do that reverse split so we got a, a pop back up um, pre-market as you can see we hit almost um, 33 cents and you know we are down now to 28 cents so let's take a look on Yahoo Finance get a better perspective so the stock went up um, overall 16 percent yesterday pre-market uh, we are now at around nine percent market cap i think we're at 54 yesterday now we are up back a little bit 63 million but look at this guys look at the volume the volume that came in is like 10 times the average 385 million shares were traded yesterday guys uh that's really ridiculous for Mullen. I've never seen this before. So the volume was huge. So what's going on? Did we hit the bottom? Is it time for the, the, the for the stock to turn around? We don't know. I'm not for providing any financial advice, but from my end, I don't know um, what's going on here. But it's good to see green for for you know first in a long time. So. Did any new news come out? Uh, well, Mullen corrected his and reissued the, the letter to shareholders so that they had mentioned the share price at um, three cents per share, but they have corrected it to say 38 per cents per share. So, nothing to write home about, guys. So, what caused this movement? Um, I'm not seeing anything. The overall market on TSX was basically flat, S&P up a um, little over a percent, Dow also up over a percent. In terms of the comps, Lucid up um, almost 3% three, three Xpeng um, over 7% NEO, which is pretty good finally, finally NEO up 8% um, and NEO has been kind of moving a little bit nice over the past couple of days. And then Rivian over three percent up. So, uh, is is it market sentiment? The market is looking green. Um, Mullen, I'm hoping that you know 
this is the, 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 the turnaround point for Mullin in terms of getting the stock back up and getting production going. So in terms of um, the sentiment right now on Twitter, uh, persons are, you know, a little bit excited. So, so this guy is saying, rap pop pop pump pump if this was the case then david would be in be all in too so what was he speaking about here not sure but in any case they're all excited in terms of the fan, final some movement and he's this person had tweeted out that yep it's real i guess when i i tweeted it, we we bounced 20 percent um up plus 20 percent have a nice convo with Clay. I guess he's from Mullin and Steve from Bollinger. I'm buying more. Much more um, not financial advice. Heard some things, won't repeat. But the quality is above what I expected. Um, hashtag Mullin, Mullin, Bollinger is insane. B1 and B2 soon. So this is the picture. I don't know if that's the guy. And this is the, the person responding to say, you know, rap a pump pump. <laughs> Pretty interesting there. So, trying to make this picture a little bit bigger. So, that's possibly the guy that said he did some of the testing. Uh, so, I guess this is the Bollinger. Okay, I'm not sure if this is recent or this is old pictures, but this seems like um, one of the pictures from the expo. So, and then there was another thing that came out with regards to some some testing of the the um, cargo van. So let's see if I can get it here. So it says that, uh, so did you know one of the, um, did you know our Mullen one EV has been validated for the 95th um, uh, percent, um, per, oh sorry, validated for the 95th percentile occupant safety performance in accordance with the NHTSA issued federal motor vehicle safety standards and then say that this was a clip from the crash and impact testing okay so that's pretty good so let's take a look at um, what's going on the, on the open interest on the on the stock side all right so jumping into open interest here so as you can see guys it was crazy yesterday the call volumes came in at 50,000 crazy I haven't seen this in a, in, a, in a little while crazy call volumes came in yesterday I'm not sure what today may hold since we have already have that little run-up but let's take a look at the open interest because seems like this is where we actually will have a little guide as to when the stock will run so this is for today we spoke about this three weeks ago that there was a high open interest um, for, for for today and this is at 29,000 Let's see what's going on with um, the next high open interest. So um, this looks pretty average for the 23rd of June. The 30th of June, pretty, pretty average. July, July. So let me just minimize these here. And we keep going. We're gonna see if we can use this as our as, as our crystal ball to see what's going on. So look at this, guys. Open interest on the 21st of July. 
74,000 shares open interest. So, what will be happening at that time? I don't know. Is it production that is going to be announced? What is it? We, we didn't have anything that came out yesterday. And, you know, the stock popped up uh, over 20%, 30% thereabout. So, mark this in your calendar, guys. The next high level of open interest is 74,000. 74,000 shares in open interest. So, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> no pun intended there, guys. All right. So, hopefully, as I'm saying, this is the we, we found the bottom. This is where maybe, maybe uh, Mullen will turn around. We're looking green so far. So, not financial advice. I'm still just going to hold and watch and see what's going to happen today. Um, wouldn't mind getting some some more shares if you know if it holds. But you know we got to proceed with caution because. You know, we can have these little pop up and then it just falls right back down. So let's be careful, guys. All right, this is kind of what I have for you for today. So hopefully we shall be seeing some green today. So as usual, if you like this type of content, don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care, guys.